welcome. Thanks for joining us. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport, Mookie Betts. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the play, defensively when he's on the bases. I and mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And towing the slab, Randy Vasquez. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Well, no doubt about it. He's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down. Now, he's got good stuff. He's just got to be able to have confidence, trusted, and really go after hitters, not nibble. Trusted his stuff can have late life in miss barrels of bats. Here's Mookie Betts. Not Whoa. close with that one. And we're underway from San Diego. Center field. Profar makes the grab one down. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Just missed. These two offenses could put up runs in a hurry. One out, base is empty. Up and in, and it's 2-0. Oh, that two-seam fastball is a great pitch from a right-hander to a right-handed batter. Just really teases the inside part of the plate, runs in on the hands. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Lifted in the air, right center field. Profar on the move to the gap. He's got it. And that quickly, two away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Freddie Freeman stands in now, wow. looks at that one inside. That's a little bit low. A wide to kick the pitch. Liner, base hit. Around first, digging for two. The throw into second, and he's out. Knocked down, and that ends the inning. Dodgers scoreless. Padres coming up to hit. Major League Baseball is on the show. San Diego and towing the slab here James Paxton well this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound hitters batting under 200 against him and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything doing any type of damage the only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run but outside of that it's gonna be a tough job for the opposing lineup today And now the lefty Ball. just off the outside edge. And now it's even one and one. Line drive. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive in the center field. Yeah. 
now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. This one high in the air to left center. In and to his right. Hauls it in for the out. That is good. The first base. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, batting second, a really important guy for them, Fernando Tatis Jr. Well, he's an important part of this lineup for sure. I mean, there's no doubt about it, Boog. It's somebody that they try to feed off of. He does a lot of things, you know, very well up there at the plate. He's got a presence about him, and, you know, he's a guy that you really kind of like to watch swing the bat. Next to hit, Jake Cronenworth. And that one fouled off. It's even up. One one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball. Two strikes. and deals. Two, two. Profar stands at first with one out. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And a pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. And he deals. Roll to short, possible two ball to second for one. On to Freddie, double play. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. New inning getting started. Now at the plate, Will Smith. The wind of the pitch. That one, one almost got him. Oh. Next offering misses, and now 2-0. Oh. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. It feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Ball. And another ball. That's in there. And it's three and one. This to center field. Profar drifts towards it, and he makes the catch. One up, one down. Here comes Max Muncy. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. No score here in the second. Balls, no strikes to count. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That one's carrying. And it's gone. That was blasted to the moon. His second homer this series, and the Dodgers have the lead. It's 1-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here's
Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And that one fouled off. On the ground, out to short. Slings it across, and Hernandez is out. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. And the batter now, Andy Pajes. And a good eye there. One ball. One, One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. Ball and two. another ball. Two balls. No strike. That three. one misses. Three balls, three balls, no strikes. No strike. And there's Make ball four. Ball four. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. And now it's Gavin Lux. And that one fouled off. Foul ball there. Pickoff throw, and he's back in easily. Two outs. Got him swinging. So only one hit in the inning, the solo homer, and it puts him ahead. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Dodgers one, and the Padres nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the second, and now it's Manny Machado. You know, Boo, Petco Park seems to be transforming into Machado's castle. I mean, nobody's hit more home runs in this ballpark, and Machado passed Adrian Gonzalez for the top spot on the list in 2023. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not oh, able to square it up. And that's in the dirt. Foul ball still one and two count. Clearly he was geared up for the fastball right there. Maybe got a little jumpy and excited out of the hand, but he certainly didn't miss a stitch. Line of the pitch. Bows it off, still one and two. The lefty fires. Fights it off, he'll see another. The one, two. And yep. there's a the ball. Home plate umpires try to tighten things up a little bit. Wind in the pitch. 3 2 now. Xander Bogarts on deck for the Padres. Three two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Kicks and fires. Foul ball, and it remains a full cow. <laughs> I don't know how this at bat will end, but I'll be sad when it does. So much fun watching this thing go back and forth. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Pass. Ranging back, 
And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. Here's Xander Bogarts. There's the strike. That one close ruled the ball. And the count even one and one. One down, base is empty. Fought off foul. Popped up right side. Freeman settles under this one. Brings it in. That's out number two. That is good. The third baseman. Here's Donovan Solano. Just missed. There's a strike. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Nothing doing there for the Friars, and it remains 1-0. Back here at Petco Park, here's the center fielder, James Outman. The right-hander back to work. Up and in, and that is ball one. Curveball drops in there. And a pitch. In the dirt, and the count is even two and two. Wouldn't we'll chase that time. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. There's a swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Oh, he gloves it from his backside. And very nicely done for the out. Cadillac reflexes on that one, makes the dive, has to get up, clean exchange to throw a strike across the diamond, and what a tremendous play. Miguel Rojas now at the plate. Cracks his bat and pops him up. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Dodgers go down quietly. They lead it 1 0. And we're back. Here's the shortstop at the play. Hassan Kim. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Bounding ball here, rolls foul.
And that's down and away. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 Cal. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. That's ball down two. and in. And another ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. That one's in there. Full count now. Okay. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. is foul and the pressure is building looking to get the tying run on base knocks that one away and we'll do it again and so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass it wasn't easy but he earned that walk after a long at bat his ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. First pitch misses. Way to lay off that pitch down. Just missed. Okay. And that's outside. And now 3 0. Kyle Higashioka in the San Diego on deck circle. And there's the automatic. Kicks and deals. That one finds the zone and the count's full. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with the chance to even this ball game up. And now Kyle Higashioka. pitch swing and a miss a little anxious a little aggressive early in the count too much for me next offering is down low man oh man I don't know how you take that pitch that's as close as it gets in the dirt blocked and an excellent job keeping it right there trying to hold a one run lead here in the last half of the third Next pitch is outside. And here it comes. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. Well, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Now batting Jerickson Profar. His home and away splits there. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0-1. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, 
Can't be over anxious. That pitcher's up against the wall. Make him come to you. Profar gets a piece there. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something that you've got. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now that right here. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Tatis waits. On the ground to first. Freeman over to second. On to first. Save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. So digging in, Jake Cronenworth. And fouled off. If it were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And that one fouled off. Step off throw to first, and he's back in there. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. At the belt and fires. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep left field. Hernandez going back on this one. Going gone. And this place is rocking. His seventh home run of the season. It's 4-1. He was able to hit one out in this weather. Are you kidding me? How did he do that? Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Manny Machado up to the plate. And Manny gets a piece. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. Say you win. No ball. Two strikes. Two out spaces empty. And one, now two. one and two. Plenty of damage done. So a three-run shot for the Padres here. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. Start of the fourth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. Here comes a pitch. This is the type of hitter his club wants it to play, especially playing from behind. He's hoping to start a rally right here. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And another ball. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike.
on the ground. On the run, throw to first. Out. One up, one down. Now back. Yep. Yeah. And up to the plate is Will Smith. He's over one. And ball one. One zero. -oh. That one missed. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. That one spoiled, and the count now 2-1. And the yeah, right-hander deals. That one fouled off 2-2. Two and two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The Padres leading by three. Top half of inning number four. That one ripped left field. Azokar raging back towards the wall. And he brings it into the warning track. And now it's Max Muncy. He's already homer here in this one. Check swing, no appeal. Ball one, ball. one. No strike. Two down, nobody on. And that one hammered. That's back there. Can't get to it as it drops into the corner. Muncie into second, and he's got a double. So two down, and now here is Teoscar Hernandez. Out towards right center field. That's a base hit. Runner from second crosses the plate, and now just a two-run deficit. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer, and he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And next for L.A., Andy Pajas. That ah. one finds the zone, and that's strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. The old one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Backed off the plate that time. Tying run at the plate. In the air, right field. Fair ball! Lead runner makes the turn at second. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. The batter has a Second base. Up next for Los Angeles, Gavin Lux. Vasquez checks over to first, and he's back. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Late with the swing there. No ball. One strike. And the 0 1. Ball. No. Runners on first and third, two away. Small God belted. Could be extra bases. One runs in, around third. 
He'll score. And the Dodgers even it up. It's 4-4. Four to four. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Just a beautiful triple from start to finish. Got a pitch he could drive, turned on it, and hammered it out front into the gap. Right out of the box. I love how he was hustling. And I think he knew he was going for three as soon as it touched down. Really important at bat coming up now. Out no, at the plate not. now. And that's inside. Two outs and one in scoring position. That one way outside, and that's ball two. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. Left hand hitter waits. Fought off foul. The 2 1. And fouled off. And a pitch. Next oh, offering three. misses down and away. Mookie okay. Betts would be next. Big bat with a potentially huge opportunity. Lux on third with two out. This one driven. Deep center field on its way. Home run. He flexes his power with that swing, his fourth home run of the season, and they take the lead. It's 6-4. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Here's Mookie now. Ball, Ball one and a pitch inside. 1 0. laboring here about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning swing and a pop-up Bogarts moving under it he's got it and that'll end the inning they score five times on five hits no errors and nobody left on on now to the bottom of the fourth it's the Dodgers six Padres four Welcome back, and they turn to a new arm as we kick off the bottom of the fourth. J.P. Fireisen. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And here is Xander Bogart. He's 0 for 1. The pitch. There's a strike. Fire Eisen measures six feet two inches, 31 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Wisconsin. Right handed reliever. Ball. One ball, one strike. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two Next high. offering upstairs. It's a good take. Righty to the plate. And that's a strikeout looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. 
Now here is Donovan Solano. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a ball popped up. Bet settles underneath it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Pop Young Kim. So two down now, and here is Ha Sung Kim. The walk and a run scored his first time. There's a strike. Pitch and a foul ball. Oh. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Padres go down quietly, and the score remains six four. here in San Diego top five John Shabby with Chris Singleton and leading it off Miguel Rojas Miguel Rojas and he deals and there's a hit and the leadoff man aboard Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, the long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting. Runner takes off. Cut on and miss. Throw to second. He's safe. And a pitch. Right side, Bogarts fields it cleanly, fires out. over to first. One away here in the fifth. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough, got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Smith. The batter now will be Will Smith, a former first-round pick, and he's really turned into a nice everyday player. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield. There's a swing and a drive. Tattooed and gone. Home run number five on the season, and they boost their lead. It's 8-4. Wasn't fooled on the first pitch at all. He squared it up right away. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Randy Vasquez won't go any further, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Johnny Brito gets the call from the pen. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. He's already homered in this game. Ball. Upstairs. One ball, no strike. Two runs across in the inning, and we're at the top of the fifth. He swings and fouls one off. Righty delivers. Gloves it on the dive. 
from his knees, the throw, and they get the out. Look at how he dives right there. He's able to pop up to both knees. Not enough time to get to his feet, but he threw a cannon across the diamond to get the runner. Two outs, base is empty. And now Teoscar Hernandez, one for two. That Whoa. one way inside. The one on. -oh. No. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Two balls, one strike. Kim gets it to first, and that is that. Two run shot for the Dodgers this inning. It's now 8 4. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Shohei Otani. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. The pitch. Azokar batting for the second time, and that's strike one. In the air, out to center, under this one. Puts it away for the out. Up next for the Padres. Stepping in for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Right through there for a strike. All right, singing, you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game one through one. 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. One down, base is empty. And he chases that one. Now only one out remaining. So the San Diego batting order turns over. Jerickson Profar, the next up for the Padres. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. This is the zone, 2-0. Two, oh. two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. No. Just missed. Rio. Fernando Tatis Jr. Hitting on deck circle. And that's, that's ball four. Ball. Take your base. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, now two back. balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. He's been much better on the road than here at Petco Park this year. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. 1-0. One -oh. Profar off of first with two away. That misses the zone, and the count is two and zero. Oh. Inside, just missed. Three ball, no strike.
and it's ball, ball four. Take he missed rate. down low. Not what he wanted to do there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Lake Trinan. A chance at his first save of the year. First and second, two down. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. First offering is fouled off. Two on, two outs. No, inside. On its way to the corner. And it's oh. foul. Trying it is just one strike away. That's the ball. And another ball. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. The oh. next pitch misses. And it's a full count. Okay. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. That one the other way. That's a hit. Now a long throw home, but it's offline. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Here's Manny Machado now. First Whoa, pitch just misses. Dying run at the plate. That misses the zone. Yeah, that's ball two. Oh, an interesting situation. One swing you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Trying in the 2-0. And yeah, a good eye there. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Xander Bogarts up next. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. It's Xander Bogarts now. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. That one's in there. Strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Fall off foul. Got him! And that is the ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. And this one ends with the score 8-5. to five. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long 